Yes, people. So another interesting time because, yeah, England is at the very final end in terms of wanting to secure the, uh, um, yeah, the cup after so many years. But the question I wanted to ask today is, what's going to be the outcome if England doesn't win? I just wanted to put these things out there, you know. I know most people are going to the pubs, going to all places in order for them to be able to possibly secure a win, even before the go, you know, before the the game starts. But the question I want to ask is, what's gonna be the feedback? What's gonna be the kind of atmosphere if England doesn't win? Are we gonna have the same experience where the black players were actually put forward? and blamed and nobody did any, anything about it or rather this is the point in time where people will come together and say you know what we went in together as a team and if we lose we lose together as a team instead of blaming people based on race not even based on performance i don't know how the race plays football or plays a particular mm -hmm. involvement in a game but yeah, I just wanted to throw it out there. What's going to be the kind of response? You know, possibly I may not need to be too surprised with what I'm thinking, but I want to leave it for people to share with me. What do you think is going to be the kind of conversations being held? Is it going to be purely based on technicalities where we look at what England needed to do? Or rather, we are going to be singling people out or people are going to be singled out and even move on further in terms of what? Looking at their race. So if you are a black person and I really tip, you know, my hat off for the likes of Saka, you know, with what was done to him um, at the World Cup and equally having the guts, having the courage. And, you know, that is the food. That is the courage of a soldier. You know, he stood and actually played you know, in the Euros, and apart from that, actually decided that, you know what, when the time came for penalties, he did go forward and he scored. Well done to you, Saka. But the question is, if England is losing, or if England loses, does it by any means change the dynamics of the game? Does it by any means change the yeah, the mixture of who is involved in playing for England. At the moment in time, we all know, you know, we have one English team, if I'm right. And that is all that everybody is looking at. But how many of us, or what has been the involvement of the higher authorities in making sure that even if England does not win, they are coming back as a team instead of people starting to point fingers. And interestingly for my boys or for the black boys, what is going to be the second thoughts that they may be holding if there is a loose? Are they going to be bust and even look at where they come from or possibly being told they need to go back to where they came from? Anyway, I may wish any parts of England the best in playing this particular game. But am I right in having my reservation that if things don't go to plan, we will be told that some people, you know, it's not everybody. Yes, we know it's not everybody. But at what point in time is the FA able to say, or maybe, you know, the whole country able to say, you know what, enough is enough. At this point in time, if anybody tends to look at singling out players based on their skin tone, maybe we will make it a criminal offense because it's not skin tone that plays a game. But rather, we want to make sure that there is an English, you know, team. And that is the most important thing. So should we get to the point where if people actually make racist comments towards footballers and that, they should get to the point if I have the opportunity, I'll say banning them from football games is not enough. It's a criminal offense. Why do you want to have, you know, do something that has an impact on the emotional well-being of that individual and actually walk away? 
it's just like, you know, for me, I look at it to say, it's just like people coming into, you know, still burgle causes trauma and just walk away scot-free because, yeah, racism mm -hmm. is different. It only affects a group of people. So in that regard, it's the same trauma that black people or black players do suffer, you know, whenever all these hate, all these, um, yeah, trolls get to do all that they want to do and get away with it. But just like I said, I just wanted us to be able to, maybe if you can, before the game, let's know the kind of response that you think the black players are ever going to have or the English national team are going to experience if they don't win. And if they don't win, do we think England is ready to embrace their defeat and say, you know what, we went in as a team and if we lose, we lose as a team. And if we come back with a, you know, with a, with a cup, I know for sure it will be an English win. I think the king definitely needs to give us a boy a week to celebrate. This is my wishful thinking. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in terms of how best you think we need to celebrate. However, going back to the quarterfinals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the media and everything did identify the lads who played the penalty and even looked at their race. But at some point in time, we need to be asking ourselves, it's not race that plays football. It's not race that plays any game. But should we get to the point where if they should win the trophy, they are going to be recognized and in their recognition, maybe make it something formal to say going forward, you know, footballers, athletes should not be identified based on their skin tone. You know, wherever they come from is secondary. Once they are playing the national team, they are part of the national team. And if there is a defeat, should it ever matter where they came from? So anyway, I just wanted to put it out there to say that let's reflect on both situations or on both scenarios. If England wins the trophy, oh dear, the town will be merry. How is it going to look like? But on the flip side, if England is not able to win and possibly a particular player who is different, who looks different, may have made some kind of mistake or even if they don't, you know, make any mistake at all. Do we think players or maybe people in the, yeah, people would actually start to identify, try to split the team up and try to identify people based on skin tone and turn their bashing on these individuals. I know for sure everybody who goes into a football match wants to win. And I know everybody who may have gone to the pub wants a particular outcome. But what if it doesn't happen? Do we then say, guys, we fought a good fight. Let's come back together as a team. Let's prep ourselves and go again the next time we have the opportunity. Anyway, people, I know this will be a big interruption to people because nobody wants to think about it. But let's possibly wonder what's going on at the back of all the black players, if any, or that particular individual black player who may be wondering, are they going to be bashed? whenever they step on the football field. And it may not matter whether it is the finals of the Euros, but the fact that they are playing for a national team, should they ever be bashed based on their skin tone whenever they don't do the right thing? And I'm sure they are just like everybody else. So if they don't do well, they need to be talked to. They need to be addressed and not their skin tone. However, if that is what is happening, what is being done? to stop that from happening. Let's know in the comment section what your thoughts are in regards to stopping this. Should it be criminalized? People who do that, people who share racist comment, abuse and all that, should they be stopped by actually criminalizing it instead of, yeah, a slap on the wrist and maybe ask not to come to a football game? Does it really make a difference? People are able to sit in their homes, watch, enjoy, and put whatever they want in comment sections. 
But anyway, people, good luck to England and good luck to their competitors. Um, people, looking at an inclusive country like England, do we think we are ready now to say that if the worst happen, it will be an inclusive approach in resolving it? Or rather, black players will be made to walk. If you are a black person going to be watching this game, let us know your thoughts, especially if you are living in England. Let us know what you think in regards to how the public is possibly going to make the black players feel if they don't have to come back with a trophy. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one.